Okay, it's not easy to speak a, a, a foreign language, <laughs> think in a foreign language. Anyway, here we are with, with U.S. oil. To be honest, there are no much developments in here. We are still trapped between a rock and hard plates, right? The OPEC uh, struggling with kind production, which, by the way, has been compiling really well, at least in January and February. In fact, the market is talking about extending uh, the cut beyond June, right? But there has been no real confirmation on that. And that's one side of the battle. And the other side of the battle is rising production in the U.S. with oil rig, active oil rigs adding every week. Uh, the AER uh, reporting, huge stockpiles, and so on. So, to be honest, still 50 55, as we discussed plenty of times, that it's the range to play. I'm not seeing uh, still uh, a clear future in here. Uh, uh, when I watch the daily charts and see the momentum indicator flat since December around its 100 uh, level, I understand that. This is no time to play big on oil. Maybe some grab some sense uh, when we are at the bottom or when we are at the top, and with well-limited stops because it's quite risky. Uh, the good news in here is that as longer the range uh, holds, as interesting will be the break when it happens. Right? We don't know to which direction. Okay, but when it happens, it will be big and it will give us a lot of. Uh, sense to the count, okay? <laughs> anyway, I do believe that's it for today. So thanks for being here with me. Welcome to a market to end all markets. Welcome to FX Pro.